I'm starting here my recording for the second time. Um, something happened and it didn't record. But I wanted to present you some ideas of my gesso texture volume 2 here. I have a set of sex gesso texture hand painted. And I wanted to show you some ideas how can you use, but possibilities are endless. I'm going to do more tutorials, of course, is going to use this. And again, all my supplies are uh, commercial use as long as you don't sell by itself. If you mixture with your other stuff or create stuff from it, it's fine. So um, let me show here how I got it started here. Um, let me show. So first I started with a paper that I have, which is going to be coming soon. And the regular classic thing is, what do you do if you want to give a look of um, texture to a paper? So what you can do is you can bring the texture. And what I did, I used multiply. And you can see right away that from a flat paper, you have some texture paper. But what if you don't want this much texture? What you can do as well, and I used to hear multiply blend mode. I masked with my mixed media brush and remove some spots here of the texture. So that is something that you can uh, do as well. And so what I did also, I, as more example, I brought this picture here. So there are two things you can do, right? You can carry the whole layout, but also you can bring texture to landscape photos, portrait photos, whatever photo you have, flower photos, to give more that painted look. So what you can do, maybe you want to use filters with this photo here in Photoshop. There are many options and I'm for sure going to do a future tutorial on that because I love to use the filters here. But just an example, if you don't use the filters, um, you can do some neat effects just with this texture. So what I did first, I uh, blended the pictures with my mixed media set here. I played with the brushes. I created a mask, inverted with Command Control Y, and then with a white brush, I go and bring the photo back, right? But I wanted some texture on the picture as well, and that's what we can do as well. And I used here um, the texture with an overlay blend mode. And as you can see here, it's just on her. I moved a little bit and just some parts of her face. And then what I did is, okay, how can I incorporate more to bring this texture on the layout? Or what you can do also, you can create kind of accents with the... Um, textures, you can create kind of pieces. So that's what I try to do. So first I brought the, uh, this um, texture here and uh, which it would be this one here. And I think I have it here. Yeah, this one. So, and this one, this is what I'm going to bring as well. So I brought this picture and I used a mask again with my mixed media brush. I um, brushed some parts that I didn't want and just left on top of the pictures and that. But also I repeated the same uh, texture on the back and I masked as well as you can see here. So we have a little bit on top of her and on the background. Then I brought the other uh, texture here, which I love is one of my favorites from the pack. I did the same thing, brought with the mask, um, let me disable here so you can see. This is the whole texture there. And what I did is I masked not as 100% and I removed, I masked first 100% and brought this back. And then later I removed this with some stamping at 80% opacity on the brush. So you kind of see the, the texture, but you don't see the texture as harsh as, for example, this one. I wanted to make a balance there. And then I just went ahead and finished with some accents with the mixed media brush set just to finish this and um, some painting there. 
And I finished bringing here uh, one word art from my uh, mixed media pieces here. And I just played a little bit and, and repeat, you know, make a duplicate and use blend mode, which was overlay just to kind of give that effect. So this is like a quick layout that you can do more of an artistry layout, but you can certainly use the same um, techniques here that I used with the gesso and the masking with a scrapbook layout, with Arduino layout, anything that you want. Very versatile. You can use on top of things to give the texture that maybe the paper doesn't have and you want something more tangible. Um, I think it's a, it's a great addition to that. Also, you can create pieces and things like that. This also can be used, of course, on any iPad app that use layers and you can create the same effects. You can use this as a background and pin on top. Um, a lot of things you can do with it. I for sure gonna do more tutorials on that using my supplies to help you create um, beautiful digital artistry. So this is the Gesso Texture Volume 2 and I'm gonna have the links on the notes section and I'll see you next time.